Welcome to the Cryptosphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you. Today is Wednesday, October 6th at 1.35 p.m. here in sunny California. Today, I'm going to give you a market update. I'm going to look at three requested assets that are on my list. I put out, uh, I asked for requests a couple days ago and got about 20 different requests. I can only cover about three of them today. So today I'm looking at Gala, Tea Fuel, and Cake. I'm going to do it in reverse order. I'm going to start with Cake. Then we're going to take a look at Tea Fuel, and then we're going to take a look at Gala. And then I'll also update you on XRP and Bitcoin. And maybe we'll have time even to look at Litecoin. We'll see uh, as we go through this video. First thing I want to say is that these end-of-year projections are getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Uh, I'm looking at charts that I haven't looked at in a while, and what I'm finding is that if you're holding any type of portfolio of altcoins right now, you're going to do fine. You're going to do fine. Don't let the FOMO get to you. There's always this sense that, oh man, I need this, and I need that, and I need this, and I need that, and you, t you almost start feeling like you need all of them. Just hold on tight. And, you know, you can add a few here and there as you are able. But um, I'd almost say close your eyes and just grab a handful of them and see what happens between now and the end of the year. Honestly, I think worst case scenario was that my timing is off. But uh, looking at these projections, it's just getting crazier and crazier. Look at this cake chart. I hadn't looked at the cake chart in a while. I believe in cake. I've, I've, I've felt strongly about cake for a while and I've been holding it for a while. Uh, but looking at this chart, uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, take a look at this. Now, first of all, uh, I'm going to zoom in here so we could just look at my short-term projection. Uh, just this uh, this trend that we're in right here, if we break bullish above that trend, uh, and simultaneously what will have to happen is the RSI will have to break uh, bullish above this trend, which I see as a strong possibility because we're already starting to get higher lows in the RSI. And if we break above this trend bullish here, we're going to break above this trend bullish here, and that will take cake up to $70 in and of itself. However, if we look at the macro trend for cake, between now and the end of the year, the top target is $586.48. That is just ridiculous, not to mention that if you stake it on PancakeSwap, I haven't looked at it in a couple of weeks. Last time I looked at it, it was somewhere around 88%, which is outlandish, which is just really, really nuts. Um, so yeah, if you don't have any cake, uh, it might be good to get some and stake it and just leave it uh, and just see what happens. But if it gets anywhere near this target up here, um, that's just crazy. I mean, that's just... That's just ridiculous, isn't it? Okay, the MACDs will have to turn bullish and we'll have to break out here in the RSI. <clears throat> but if we get in another impulsive wave here that's anything like this whole sequence that we got here, uh, I mean, just, just for fun, let's look at a bars pattern and just see what this would look like if we just did this. Um, let's see if we just... <laughs> yeah, if we, if we got a move like that, it would... Uh, it would break us up out of here. I mean, we would, uh, <laughs> that would take us up to like 900 bucks. So, I mean, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but uh, I think cake is very strong and uh, definitely holding on to my cake. And uh, next, T Fuel. Let's take a look at T Fuel. T Fuel is just as strong. <laughs> I mean, um, wow. Look at this, T Fuel. My top target for the year is ten dollars and twenty cents. My midterm target between sometime in in the next few weeks, maybe, maybe before the end of the year, I'm looking at a dollar and forty six cents. I think a dollar forty six would be my low target for end of year. Top target for end of year would be ten dollars and twenty cents, which is crazy. It's like thirty x from where it is now, um, literally thirty x. From where it is now we've got support in the rsi the rsi would just have to blast off and reach for the top of this uh trend line if this if the rsi reaches for the top of the trend line here the price action will reach for the top of the trend line here the macd's will have to turn up and uh i honestly think that ten dollars for t fuel is honestly a bit conservative i think we could see a 15 dollar t fuel but uh we need to wait and see um 
But I mean, look at this extended consolidation period and what that consolid. I mean, this is a huge uh, bull pennant, a huge bull pennant. So, <laughs> I mean, we are telegraphing the candle pattern itself is telegraphing a huge bullish move for T fuel. And so, um, yeah, T fuel is very, very exciting. Uh, just looking at it. Next, Gala. There wasn't very much information about this. I checked every single chart on TradingView, uh, that is, that were either USD or USDT, and what couldn't go back uh, before September 13th, 2021. So the best thing I can do for you for Gala is just look at this short-term candle pattern here, which would take us up to about 39 cents in the midterm, which is good. If you're holding Gala, uh, that looks good. Uh, but other than that, I couldn't get a whole lot of information on the asset. All right, let's take a look at Bitcoin and see what we're doing. Uh, basically, when you look at this, we're getting very close, honestly, to retesting our all-time high. I mean, this is crazy. Now, I mean, if you look at these shorter-term charts, uh, I projected a target between 55 and 56,000, and we're right in that target area right now. I projected that when we broke bullish out of this pattern here, and sure enough, we're coming right into that area right now. Look at the RSI on the daily. It's it's breaking above even this bullish trend. It's breaking above it, which means that we could be looking at a parabolic Bitcoin in the not too distant future. Um, so I mean, the MACDs are pointing up. the 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 uh, RSI is moving up. The price action's moving up. Uh, the only thing I'd say is the RSI is moving up into overbought territory. And so, of course, it's going to have to cool off a little bit. But um, I think uh, Bitcoin is looking very strong in terms of its bullishness. If we look at this on the weekly chart, remember I said we've got to break above this peak in the RSI here to make a higher high. And we are testing that area right now. I mean, we broke above the trend. Now we're, we're testing this peak here in the RSI. If we break above that on the weekly, uh, that is going to be bullish for the midterm for Bitcoin. We're strongly above the 21-day EMA. Uh, Bitcoin is looking very, very strong right now. Uh, taking a look at XRP. XRP is looking almost equally bullish. I mean, if you look at this, the MACDs are pointing up. This is the daily chart. Uh, we've broken bullish. And uh, let's see, this 23% uh, I can recalibrate this target in the short term. Uh, this should take us up to about $1.30, okay? But if you look at the RSI, the RSI is bullish. Uh, the MACDs are bullish. The price action is broken out bullish above this trend. Um, XRP is looking very strong as well. Um, I was expecting a breakdown here because of the bearish divergence in the RSI on the four hour. And actually the bearish divergence is still there on the four hour. In the RSI, so I don't know if that's just going to be a cooling off period on the daily chart because there's no bearish divergence on the daily chart. It's just on the four hour chart. And so uh, we could still get a breakdown out of here, but I don't think it's going to go down as far as I anticipated. 6.31% if we move it here. Um, that means uh, 98 cents uh, is probably really the lowest it could go. And it could actually only do, it's possible that it only does about half of that, which would just be a retest of $1. So we'll just have to wait and see uh, how XRP does. But when we're looking at the uh, daily charts uh, and even the weekly charts, uh, XRP is very, very bullish. Although on the weekly, we did turn bearish here in late September, uh, but it's flat in the MACDs, um, but the RSI continues to be bullish and the price action. So we will wait and see. All right, folks, that's all I got for you today. It's just a quick update on what's going on with the market. Everything looks bullish, everything looks awesome. I think between now and the end of the year, uh, it's gonna get really, really crazy. Uh, remember, expect the money to move into Bitcoin first, then Ethereum, and then the rest of the altcoin market. So as we're seeing, uh, the Bitcoin charts are beginning to, to move. Uh, expect more bullishness for Bitcoin, but expect Ethereum to follow, and then expect the altcoins to follow that. Uh, I think it's gonna get crazy within a matter of days, maybe one week, two weeks at the most. Mid-October to the end of the year is gonna be absolutely nuts, I think. 
uh, the market is strong. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my thoughts and opinions. Do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Drop me a line. Let me know if you enjoyed uh, the information that I provided you with today. And above all else, make it your aim to sleep in peace every night, wake in joy every morning, and walk in love every day. This is Cryptogenic, signing out. Mm -hmm.